Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fundamentalist Fails on a Friday. And I love Fridays because I get to do Fundamentalist Fails. Um, now, first off, I, I, I do apologize. I, I really apologize. It may not be a Fundamentalist, but I really had no better place to put this. And the guy is interestingly convinced of his own convictions. So it, it may like it might be a slightly misleading title. I'm I'm sorry if I did clickbait you. I sincerely apologize, but it is weird enough that I would I would put it under the fundamentalist fails section. Um so I, I learned about this from my wife who who sent it over and, and she was like have you seen this cartoon? And I'm like no, I, I'm not. I, I do like anime. I do like anime. I do like stuff. But this is a children's cartoon. Never saw it. It's it's like the weirdest thing I've seen for quite some time. Um, what what I might do, and and I want to give a big shout out to to your hooligan Justin out there. Good to see you, uh, Marty. Good to see you, um, Wayne. So good to see you. So I, I want to share with you. But first off, th this person is doing sort of a crowdfund for his, can you know, sort of um cartoon and it, it's it's really baffling it it I, I don't know why or how or or where he got the idea to do this but it's kind of this I, I'll, I'll let you see for yourself because this is incredibly baffling um yeah so give me one second I'll get set up here um I I I, I don't know I I Look, I, I don't know anything. This is so weird. I, I got to say, I, I had to share this with you all. I had to share this. Um, give me one sec. Yeah. So this is the creator. Um, I, I really should should get his name, actually, now that I come to think about it. Um, give me one second. I'll find that. Which I, I don't think he's a bad person. I think he just... I, I don't know why... Um, why he's doing what he's doing because it's it's just so um so odd so so weird so crazy of what he's doing i i i you know i i i don't know it's weird um i can't find his name i i did have this a, a, a while ago uh yeah nimrod abraham may so Nimrod Abraham May. Um, I, I, I'm not sure he was a former Disney marketing executive, and and he does an interview which is even weirder than than the the actual cartoon. Like it it, it gets crazy. Um, but first, I'll show you the the sort of the the crowd um, the crowd fund thing. So so um you, you can sort of get an idea as to to what he's doing and and maybe why he's doing it so I'll, I'll i'll let him speak for himself but sort of um oh that's the episode yeah yeah that's the right one that's the right one that's the right one have you heard about the muslim christian jew and hindu that walked into hilarious adventures mm -hmm. yeah no not really and and i wish i hadn't so oh boy where do we start with this like do, do we start at the the ghetto afro um sort of 70s black stereotype the 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 little jewish guy the the huge muslim dude or or the clearly whitewashed hindi uh hindu i i don't i don't even know where to start with this like it feels kind of you know, I, I'm I'm not sure if you could say that it's necessarily racist, although you know, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that that the sort of you know bell bottom disco Afro black guy and maybe the Jewish guy is a little racist. Um, I I definitely just culturally insensitive. Maybe I I I, I don't like seriously. Um, like, why is the Hindu person, why, why I, I'm not sure, it, it's really weird. I, I, I am really struggling to, to, to think of what this guy was thinking at the time. Uh, saving the world. So, yeah, you heard that. So four different faiths, one God. So, yeah. 
it, it depends who you talk to. Some some um some Christians and some Islamic people and and people that believe in in Judaism may acknowledge sort of that the God of Abraham is the one God that they follow, but Hindus definitely don't worship one God. Like I I don't know. Like I, this this feels really Western centric, like very 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 Western centric kind of thing. Together, God's gang go. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about this. I and and the fact that they're beating up scientists is is baffling to me. Like it it's kind of this, um, I. I you know, it, it reminds me of sort of the the um, the cartoons, the children's cartoons that are like, oh, we use science to beat the bad guys. You know, we use technology kind of thing. Like uh, uh, there was one one show, what was it? When I was a kid, it was like Mask or something, and they, they had transforming cars. I don't know. I don't remember my childhood that well. But um, I, I do remember that there was a lot of, oh, that's cool. They're using high-tech gizmos. This it's kind of the reverse it's really weird. It's very, very strange. Hi, my name is Nimoda Bahame, and I'm the creator of God's Game. 15 years ago, I used to work for the Disney channels, and I was asked to outsmart the yellow sponge and an adventurous girl with her booted monkey. Yeah, um, so yeah, he's been involved in projects like SpongeBob and Dora the Explorer. Now, SpongeBob, I I I you know, don't don't kill me. I haven't seen a lot of it. Um as far as I know, it's just sort of a, a fairly, fairly sort of wacky adventures of, of a, a, a sponge that lives in a pineapple under the sea. Um, Dora the Explorer that was aimed at teaching um, children bilingualism. I think that that I think Dora the Explorer, particularly out of those two, is a very worthwhile endeavor. It's a very worthwhile endeavor. It does seem a bit like that. Back then, our leading brand was the Power Rangers, and I offered Disney to make them the first ever interfaith group of heroes. And guess what? Disney thought I was goofy. Yeah, you were. You were. Because the Power Rangers was sort of a Japanese cartoon, and, and Japan isn't particularly religious. I, I don't know what you were thinking. Um, everybody... Um, Oh, he was on Disney Post to outperform SpongeBob and Dora. Well, mission failed. I I don't think this is it. Like everybody is mad at him, um, for one reason or another. Um, so yeah, a Power Rangers based on religion. I I yeah, and that's how God's Game was born. Not to fear, Chris Gross is here, flying Gross! Fifteen years ago, I went on a spiritual journey. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's sort of low-key racist. I, 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 you went on a... Okay, tell me about... Okay, okay, your spiritual journey. I... Uh, couldn't you go on, like, a rational journey and, and find something other than sort of... um religion and culture to sort of base your cartoon around like maybe maybe you know something else like like um uh uh why trying to understand who we are where we are where we come from just to realize that we all come from the same source aka our creator Yeah, I, I think you're sort of begging the question there, mate. I, I, you're sort of assuming a creator and and sort of saying, well, you know, all of these faiths are right. I'm going to make a cartoon about it. You know, they all disagree on what that is, like vehemently disagree on what that is. Um, I I I, I am bewildered here. I, you know, it's it sort of you went on a spiritual journey. Oh, and uh, oh, my, my bad. Uh, I don't know how long that's been up there. Um, thank you to Eric Wonder who gifted one Mark Reed membership. That's a readership for Big Bank Farm Wayne. BTF Wayne, congratulations. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wow, my emojis are loading in slowly. That's insane. Um, there you go. Just, just, just smacked Wayne right in the chops. Well done. Well done. 
good stuff. Um, no, I, I approve of that that uh, that 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 smack, and I, I approve. But thank you, thank you, Eric. I really appreciate it, mate. Um, so th this is this is so, so he basically went on a spiritual journey. I, I I kind of get what people are talking about when they talk about a spiritual journey. I, I think I think to me that sounds like they investigate their religion. They talk about it like it is something different. So if it's not just sitting down and thinking about your religion, I, I, I don't know what he's talking about. But you know, he obviously came up with the conclusion that that we all had a creator, and obviously came up with the conclusion that all of these faiths have the same creator, even though they're vastly different. And you could make that argument, or, or I think it might be a valid argument for um, like the three I mentioned, the Abrahamic religions, um, sort of thing. But you can't include Hinduism in there. You you just you just can't. It, it's so different and it has a pantheon and it existed before Christianity. I believe it existed before Judaism as well. Um, you just cannot include that. Which is why the energy of unconditional love is the only energy that needs to be applied to have a successful journey on this planet. As a okay, so as poetic language, I, 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 I agree with him. Like he's, he's sort of using poetic language, sure, okay. You know, love's important. Yeah, cool. Um, I think food's important as well. I think to have a successful journey, you do need food. Um, I don't think love is going to sustain you through starvation. Um, I, I think that water is quite important too. Shelter's quite important. There's a lot of important things. There's a lot of important things and love just isn't it. Like, I, I, I get that people like talk talk poetically about it and that's that's fine. An education, yeah, yeah, good one, right? Yeah, no, I agree, Rodney. An education is very helpful to you know help you through a successful journey, but not necessarily. You know, I mean, it's helpful. You can learn stuff on your own. I get it. Um, but you know, I, 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 look, and as poetry, all you need is love. Is a wonderful sentiment poetically, but it's not. You know, I mean, it's it's just poetry. It, it's just love's really important. Yeah, I agree, but it doesn't help with certain things. I. Uh, Father of three daughters, I only wish for them a simple thing. What if we become one with the whales? And that's to live in a world of peace, world of kindness, world of compassion, and world of truth. That's that's not bad sentiment for your daughters, I get you. Hey, ya hooligan. There is no way it's been four months already. So ya hooligan just wastes his four-month member chat, just 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 basically saying how incredulous he is that it's been four months, which is is great. I mean, it, it's it's... It's bang on par for this. This channel is just is just totally, totally detract from anything meaningful. I got you, buddy. Thank you. But seriously, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. it it's fantastic. It's been four months. Yeah, yeah. I, I grow on you, mate. I, I grow on you. I. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't understand this. I paused here to to sort of do the Yahooligan thing. I don't look, I don't disagree with his sentiment. All of those things are important. Um hardships, well, it depends what type. It depends what type. I think challenges are good. Hardships, I don't think that's essential. I, I would disagree. I think that challenges are important to overcome, but I don't think that true suffering is is something that you have to have. But you, you're kind of right. I think that sort of some challenges in life is is instrumental to learning resilience. Yeah, I, I kind of do agree in, in a certain way. Trying to understand the content for kids and teens today, you realize it's too sexualized. I'm sorry, that's too sexualized? Is that is that just, you know, coincidence that you put it there or did you select that? Did you select that? Because if you think that's too sexualized, and plus, what is this? Is this a children's cartoon? I have trouble believing that the the doll smeared in blood is a too sexualized and b um just just a children's cartoon. Why do I feel like this isn't a children's cartoon? It's too violent. It's missing the right values. Um, this is robot chicken. I would swear this is robot chicken, right? This is robot chicken. It's missing the right values. Yeah, like the religious values. It is robot chicken, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That is not a children's cartoon. Number one, it's not a cartoon. Number two, it's not for children. Robot Chicken is not for children. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Eric. It's literally on Adult Swim. It's literally called Adult Swim. Like fellowship and friendship. Um, well, I don't know. I, I, you know, the one when you say it misses fellowship and friendship, the one thing that comes to mind is, um, uh, what is that show? Um, My Little Pony. Friendship is magic. I, I remember seeing that. Like, I remember seeing that that sort of cartoon once. It, it wasn't, I mean, it was, a, it was a kid's cartoon, but it wasn't bad. It was it was funny in places. Um, I watched it with my my, my uh, uh, nieces, and, and it was like, yeah, it, it really promoted friendship and, and using your friends and being together and, and forgiving one another and things like that. I, I didn't see a problem with it. Like, it was, it's so much about friendship that friendship is in the title. I, I don't. I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't think, has this guy been watching Robot Chicken and thinking, oh, this is the state of cartoons in our world. Something's got to change. Because, sir, you, you, you literally have the wrong end of the stick there. Literally. In coexistence. Huh? But guess what? Let's get to work. Let's get to work. I got a plan under this kipper. I'm super. What, why does the, the 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 Jewish guy talk like a like a sort of gangster kind of thing? I, I don't know. That seems really weird. I'm I'm very cringed out by this. I, I don't even know if I want to go into watching like the episode that he put out. I I uh, we're proud uh, of the God's Game professional team. Each one is a superhero at his work. My head writer is a five Emmy Award winner, a Grammy and a Peabody for Conan O'Brien, John Stewart, Angry Birds, The Oscar, Benton, and more. My director is a two times Emmy nominee known for Transformers Cyberverse and Vaporina for Disney, also The Oddbots. We want to create much more content for. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they might have impeccable credentials, but it doesn't mean what they're doing is great. I. I oh. Um, no, that that's a fair thing. Look, Powerpuff Girls was an interesting one because I, I certainly saw Powerpuff Girls when I was younger, and I, I I I'm not sure it was was it overly sexualized. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. I, I certainly think that them popping a power pill and their eyes dilating was suspicious. I, I do I do grant you that. Um, but I, I'm I'm struggling to think of cartoons that are over sexualized at the moment um and and, and you know I, I i do admit that back in the 80s things were definitely different like some of the the uh, men were over sexualized like you had he-man which was sort of bulging and muscles and running around in a in a small um um sort of thing um i i, I don't know about over sexualized I'm, I'm not sure about that one um should cartoons be have have sexualization in them and all? Maybe, maybe not. I think that really is for the age range that that it's there. You know, like um, there's just some parts of the, the anatomy that are just that that that's what they are. I, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure that that we should take out. Um, you know, so so if somebody talks about having a girlfriend in a cartoon. Is that inappropriate? There's a question for you. Um, I think in some, yes. I, I think in some, yes. If it's designed for an older, older sort of, you know, audience, I think maybe no. I, I think stuff like sexualization in cartoon or anime is really up to where that content is designed for. Like, like so if you've got an anime that's for adults, I don't have a problem with it. It's fine. Um, if it's for children, then yes, you are correct. Well, you know, in fairness, this guy seems robot chicken as over-sexualized. So, you know, I, I don't know what to tell him. I, yeah, probably, probably, yeah. God's game, which is why we're coming to you. Our beloved fans, the people who believe in peace, help us with a crowdfunding campaign. We would appreciate any contribution. Hey, come on, try it. It may look weird, <laughs> but it works perfect. Together. Thank you.
Okay, so so that's the the crowdfund um sort of thing for for God's Gang. Um, I, I I I I've got I've got the 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 actual first episode in the chamber. I'm I'm really like I'm I'm cringing hard. I I don't know if you guys want to see this. I I honestly don't. Um, I also have an interview with the creator to sort of see what his mind was going to when he started up this quite frankly abomination. So so let me hang on. I I, I can I can solve this. I I can do a poll. Hey Ember. So good to see you. Um, I'm going to do a poll. Um, oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't I, I don't know what the guy was thinking. I, I, Um Okay, there's there's a quick poll. People love polls. Look, everyone loves polls. Everyone loves a good poll. Everyone loves a poll. Mm. Thank you, Amber. It's so good to see you. Rodney, so good to see you. I'll just wait for people to vote. You know, get your get your vote in. It's important to vote. Be heard. I will hear you. I will hear you. You went for the hard hand. Oh, human girl, why why you do this to me? Yeah, so I well the, the thing about this is um I don't think it was received well by anybody. And I, I kind of I kind of feel sorry for the guy in a way. I mean, he's so, you know, he's so certain this is going to be the next big thing. He's going to beat out Power Rangers and, and um, you know, he's going to beat Dora the Explorer and, and you know, um, um, all, all of these things, all of these things. Oh, and welcome, Eric. Oh, thank you, Eric. I really appreciate it, mate. Um, we call them readerships over here. You are now a reader. Congratulations. Read well, my son. Read well. Read well. Um, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch this thing, aren't I? Uh, uh, look, it'll be on 1.25 speed. I do apologize if the, the talking is too fast, but I, I can't sit through this at that normal speed. Read well. Do, do, do. Oh, you're going to make me watch. Okay. No, I, I he decides, poor man. Why did I even write that? I knew you guys were going to make me do it. Why did I even? Look, I, I like polls, okay? It, 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 it you know, it, it, you know, I'll, I've, I've skipped the intro because I don't know if they've, they've music things, the, the, um, uh, the thing. Um, so I, I'm just doing it from going through the thing. And look, I, I think of the um the the black people or the people with um a, uh Afro American sort of uh hello, thank you so much, Pinworm. Member for six months. That's amazing, Pinworm. Thank you so much. It it's been crazy, but uh I really appreciate your support. Awesome. Um so like I, I think of the people that I know. That, that are African American, for instance, and they, like, they look nothing like this, and they talk nothing like he talks, right? It, it's kind of like I think of Leo Phileas, and I think of um, um, Maya, and I think of um, Jay Bundy, right? That the, my my friends that are African American, and you know, the, the, they they're not like this, you know. I, I think this is a really poor representation of of the black community. It's it's really horrible. You know, I, I'm, I'm pointing that out. It, it, it's, it's how a person who has never um, sort of observed or been in the black community would draw someone from the black community, right? From the 70s with bell bottoms and an afro and, you know, has a, has a big chain and stuff like that. It, it, it's so, it, it is offensive. It really is. 
Buddhists are strong and concubines. Sue Muslim stories are hypnotized. Taekwon Hindu. Okay, so that was Sue Muslim. I, I don't know. Actually, let's go through their superpowers. Mission is love. Uh, and wasn't crisscross like a, a couple of rappers from the, the 70s? Yeah, no, I'm with you. That's exactly what I'm trying to say, Eric. Absolutely. He looks like a 70s pimp. Yeah, absolutely. I I I I, I don't know what they were thinking. Um, so his mission is harmony. Is it though? Is that really indicative of the Muslim religion is harmony? I, I, I'm not so sure it is, to be honest with you. Um, special move is hypno storytelling. I, is it? Why does he only get sandals? I, I you know, this this seems pretty, pretty. Oh, Robin, you champion. Five five readerships going out. Who's a reader now? Who has started to read? Um, it has hit Carol Kinzer, Sydney Raptor, The Freak, Uncle Charlie, and Tiny Pink Penguin. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You get a readership, and you get a readership. Thank you so much, Robin. You are fantastic. Yeah, Robin is a, a, um, a such a valuable member of our community. Um, and and just a wonderful person to know, to be honest with you. Two Muslim stories are hidden inside oh, Taekwon Hindu. Okay, okay, okay. So Sum Hindu, I think they're trying to say it's Sumo Hindu, but like, um, Sumo is from Japan. It's got nothing to do. No, there was Sum Muslim. Okay, I'm getting these mixed up. Sum Muslim. So sumo wrestling is from uh, Japan. It's got nothing to do with the Middle East. It's like so far away. And and they got it a bit closer with Taekwondo. But Taekwondo is Korean, right? It's Korean martial art. I, I, I don't know why um, they've got like Hinduism is clearly Indian. And this this girl is is, I mean, I don't know. Is she even Indian? She looks very white, I, I got to say. Um, is there an Indian martial art? There's got to be, right? There's got to be. Um, there's the Sanas. Uh, there's there's uh, Agni Purana. There's definitely some Hindu martial arts out there, so I'm not sure why suddenly. Right, I did think so. Right, they've definitely got Indian martial arts. Um, I don't. Yeah, so it, it probably is just that they they were just desperate to make the names work. But here's the thing, and and, and I'll get to this in a second. I'll go actually. I'll put it to one side and get to it. But Taekwon Hindu. Message mission unity telepathy. I why I don't understand. I don't understand any anything. Yeah, Raj puts okay. Yeah, 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 Marty. I gotcha. I gotcha. Hindu reads animals' minds while ninjas. Okay, okay, I, okay. Uh, Dalthim, well, well, human girl. Oh, come on now. Okay, so human girl. I, Dalthim used yoga. Okay, he, his fighting style was yoga, which was not in any way a martial art. Okay, so I, I'm not sure if that qualifies as, as an Indian martial art is yoga. Um, I think that's <laughs> there's actually quite a funny scene with, um, who is it? Uh, uh, the, 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 there's a comedy thing about that, that yo yoga is not a martial art. I can't remember who did it, but um, um, uh, who was the Indian guy in Eternals? Um, um, Kamal Najini. Uh, so Kamal, the Indian guy in Eternals. There was a really funny um, video with him 
being Dal Sim from Street Finder explaining why why yoga was a uh, was a um, a martial art, and it was quite funny. Isn't Tai Chi? Well, Tai Chi kind of is, yeah, but um, Tai Chi is Chinese, so I'm, I'm not sure how that would, would factor into But, like, Ninju is just, like, seriously? And and his special move is a laser? I... I, 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 I it's, did he know that the Jewish space laser thing was going around? Did, did he know? I, I, I need to know. Like I, I, I need to know whether he knew that the uh, that the little Jewish space laser was going around, because that that is is. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if the Klingon style would make it into here. Okay. Okay. And again, ninjutsu is Japanese as well, and it isn't really a fighting style. More, more uh, kind of is, I guess. It, it's more of a, a sort of um, warfare style. I, I yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. But it really worries me what I'm going to see when the Jewish guy has a has a laser as his special move. It it. It, it, it's so... Oh, uh, why? Why? We're analyzing. The Dove and Dogma have their... Okay, okay. So I feel like they're pandering to one religion. Can anybody guess what it is? Can anybody guess the one religion that they're pandering to? And and can I just point out that, that, that their, their handler is literally called Ms. Dogma? Like dogma is their 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 handler. Is that a problem with anybody else? And why is the dove like got look like he's ready to invade the beaches of Normandy? The dove's a symbol of peace. Why is he like a battle dove? And and plus in French, there's no like they don't call it a dove, they it's like pigeon. Um there's no like why Lee Dove? It would be Le Pigeon. Um, what what is happening? This is like the most confused take on anything. Like you've said, oh, right, it's four different faiths, and then the handle is just Christianity. Like it's all Christianity. Like where, where's the? I, I don't. Uh, uh, I. And 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 the 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 I, I don't know why. Vex, no matter who or what takes. I, I feel like that's a bit of a rip off of um um. I I, I get some some Captain Planet rip off vibes. You know, I, I really do. It's like if Captain Planet instead of using elements used religions. Is anyone else getting that feeling? You know that's that's what they're going for. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Look, I had no idea about this. Al, my wife sent it to me, and I'm like, yeah, it it it's go Captain Theist. Is that right? Go go Captain Faith. I I don't, I, I don't know. The sign on the O. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's it's you know real peaceful. Real peaceful. Oh. oh man, I'm more excited than a kid getting to skip Hebrew school. Yeah, and okay, so I'm gonna bring this up now, right? I'm gonna bring this up now. Um, so uh, it's obviously Christocentric at, at a at a base level because all of the the stuff around them are um sort of um christian iconography like the dog with the halo and stuff that's specific christian iconography um i what i want to say and what what i think the danger of this is and how awful it is is reducing people to essentially just their faith these these people have no names these people have no sort of um their 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 motivations are purely their their faith based 
right? They don't have their own motivations. It is just the motivation of their faith. But their names are literally their faith plus a martial art or something in some way. I mean, except for the main character, Crisscross, because apparently you don't need to put, um, you know, Christian in his name, although, you know, the Chris part takes care of it. And I'm pretty sure that Crisscross was like a, a a rap, like a couple of really young rappers from um, the, the, the 90s kind of thing. I'm pretty sure. I think they spelt it with Ks, but I think, you know, yeah, yeah, it was. Um, Hip hop duo, so yeah, you're kind of ripping off the hip hop duo, which is again just you know this guy is is the furthest thing from hip hop you could ever get, quite frankly. Um, yeah, that's it, Al. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ashton as well. Yeah, you got it. Um, so really, what I'm looking at is the 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 dehumanization of people and just limited to what their faith is and their sort of special move kind of thing or their their fighting style these people don't have names they don't have motivations they have absolutely nothing besides their faith and that's it that's all that defines them and i think that's really reductive for a cartoon like um the cartoons that i absolutely loved was um uh, okay yeah yeah sure okay uh, no I, i'll pay that i'll pay that um, you know, at least she is darker than the, the Jewish guy, but I'm not sure why the Jewish guy is that light. Anyway, um, I, I have issues with the, I even hate to say it, the Ninju. I'm not going to say his name is Ninju. I choose to believe he has his own name. Like he isn't just born and his parents say, I will name you Ninju. Um, uh, I, I'm just sort of saying, uh, just stop. Stop, you hooligan. Don't don't say that. Do not say that. Stop it. I think your school was born. Look, it's just you can't just name somebody. What I was saying was the cartoons that I loved were the ones where there was some sort of depth to the character. Um, I was talking to some weird Canadian guy, I can't remember who. No, it was your hooligan. I I about how Transformers back in the 80s was good because it had um, it did have these these characters sort of that ju were just sort of cars transforming, but they had a personality, they had motivations, they had the humans in it, which was Spike, who I could remember Spike's name, but it also had Spark Plug, who was his dad, and they worked on an oil rig and the sort of Decepticons tried to take over the oil rig and they helped the Autobots, so they became, and they sort of became the spokespeople for humanity in that in that thing. And the thing was with our all real rig workers that realized exploiting resources was a bad idea. It was a very cool cartoon back then. Like you look at Michael Bay's attempts at Transformers and it's really bad. It's horrible because it didn't capture what the 80s cartoon was about. Um, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I think that they're, they're sort of really you know and yeah it is really effective as well um so yeah it, it it's it's a really sh shallow poor sort of um yeah I, I i dislike this immensely because the people they're not being humanized it's just all about the faith all about the faith and that that's it you know that's all that's defining them that's what they want to do it's what they want to have um you know, I mean, I haven't seen many children's cartoons these days. I must admit, yeah, I, I watched with my nieces at one point, um, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and I thought that was good. I thought the, the characters were clearly defined. They each had their own things that they wanted and were trying to work towards. They had very different personalities. They weren't defined by what they were. In fact, a, a, a part of that was not being defined by who you are kind of thing. I thought it was good. I, I thought it was good. Um, and and sort of this is the opposite they're absolutely just defined by by their their religion and that's all oh and their martial art i'm sorry i'm sorry snoring in my madrasa you couldn't hear the lessons over the snoring yeah well must yeah and so they just go for these cultural stereotypes kind of thing sunday school promised eternal life and that's exactly how long it felt <laughs> guys it's our day off let's have fun 
Yeah, so that I, I would have preferred um, the the Indian girl or presumably Indian girl to to have an Indian actor voice them. Um, you you can't tell me that you couldn't find an Indian actor and had to go for a a Western. You know, uh, is that I, I don't know the area that accents from California. Top one Hindus right. Plus we've got a mission, and that. Hang on, I'll, I'll rewind it just slightly. Only Phil. Guys, it's her day off. Let where, where is that accent from? A California? Um, uh, East Coast? I, I don't know. I don't know American accents. I'm so sorry. But anyway, it's a very American accent. You could have found somebody with just a slight Indian inflection. Like, I don't know why you couldn't. It, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get you. I, I get you. It, 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 it is kind of very, very. Like, I'm, I'm not too worried about the voice. That, uh, you know, I wonder who voiced it. I wonder who voiced it. Um, voiced. Who voiced the characters in God's Game? Okay. Um. Yeah, a lot of them are just under additional voices. Well, it would have been nice if if they got um um it would have been nice if they got a um a a black guy to to voice the the black guy it would be nice. Um I'm probably I'm probably um am, am I reaching? So Ooh. Huh. So the the um Taekwon Hindu, I hate saying these names. Oh, I hate I hate all of you making me say these names. Um it was it was voiced by Emma Avital. Avital does sort of sound a little bit um Yeah, is is a Hebrew name. Yeah, so they've got a uh, person of Jewish ancestry voicing the Hindu person. I, I just, I, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I, I don't know. Let's have fun. Top one Hindus right. Plus, we've got a mission, and that's to crush the devil's spinal cord. Okay. I mean, sure. You're, you're, you're out the what about the satanists why don't they have somebody in the thing okay why isn't there there um um you know satan tai chi what why isn't there like um um you know it's uh, um what what's a martial art capoeira satan why isn't there they're uh, Savate Satan. Why isn't there mixed martial Satan? Like, why is it the Satanists get pushed out? What? What? Why? Why are they get get thrown to the to the wayside? It's because he's he's um yeah exactly Marty. Where, where's where's mind you? You only get one character because apparently if you know you're you're a a, a, a pantheist uh, or or a polytheist, you only get one one character. Oh no, we'll find out who the main antagonist is, and it's not it's not it's not Satan. Well, it might be Satan, but it's not directly Satan. Yalla! <laughs> Sorry, huh? too short for the ride, kid. Yeah, and it's like the Jewish person is short. I I feel like they're they're um making some some um some some pretty sort of culturally insensitive jokes, I guess. And and look at this, like why is Napoleon there? What what kid is like this is supposed to be for children? Are they gonna know who A who Napoleon was? Of course not. And B, are they going to know that Napoleon was considered short, even though he probably wasn't short for his time? But like are they going to know that? 
maybe that's the joke for adults in there. I, I, I don't know. That's the problem. You kid, do you know how long ago my bar mitzvah was? Oh, someone could use a lolly. Huh. Uh, uh. Huh. <laughs> Tall enough now, kid? Uh, enjoy the ride. Uh, I hate being small. You're fine, Ninja. And I need you to ride with me on the scary part. Okay, so they're doing a bit of subversion here. You know, that, that's fine. The, 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 the Muslim guy is big and strong, but he's actually scared. I'm not sure if Muslims would be, you know, if that's an insult to Muslims kind of thing. It's just, uh, it, it kind of comes off as very dismissive, a very sort of, you know, I, I suppose they were just going for subversion. I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what's with the accent. I don't know what's with any of these accents because the, um, so, um, the Sue so Muslim was voiced by Bassam Baromi, um, which does sound like a, a, um, sort of Hebrew word as well. Um, uh, let's see. Um, it might be a, a Muslim name, might be a Muslim um, voicing it, which is fine. I, I think that that's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's sort of what I was, is, you know, sort of saying, that it, it does seem like a very... Um, a very stereotypical sort of... Um, um, I hate to use the word, but like sort of a, a very stereotypical, culturally insensitive Jewish accent. But I know that the guy that that made this um, is is um, Israeli, I think. So I don't know. I don't know. You're offended by the blue elephants? Look, look. I I'm offended by that kid not riding the correct way. Like, turn around. I. <laughs> Not the mad scientist. Yeah. So, so here we meet the antagonists of this little um, story. Scientists. Well, they're, they're mad scientists. But yeah. So it's kind of setting it up so. It's the scientists out of control that are the um, the um, the the evil on on this this uh, uh, little uh, dramatis here. Um, when was this cartoon made? Way later than it should have been. It 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 really it really feels like a you know one of those eighties. Oh wow, that was a mistake. But no, it it was made I think earlier this year. I think. Um, or last year, sorry. Um, uh, let me have a look. Wikipedia. Um... Yeah, 2023. So last year. Yeah. Last year. Yeah, last year. Yeah, so science is the antagonist. Um, and when we get to the interview, you'll hear the reasons that probably is, and it's kind of horrifying. Right, yeah, no, I'm getting that vibe. You're absolutely right. Hong Kong Fui. That was a a disastrous mess of culturally insensitive crap and that is that is bad and this one's just as bad like you know you really should have learnt from that what are they so mad about today when we were kids no one would play with us but now you kids don't have a choice yeah so we're going into the um scientists are all nerdy geeks that no one likes kind of thing um which is a um, horrible, horrible kind of stereotype. It's kind of this, oh, well, 
you're you're smart. No one likes you. It, it's it's anti intellectualism is what they're promoting here. Um, sort of so so nobody likes them because they they're smart and they're nerdy kind of thing. It is a horrible sentiment to the to the people trying to work against things that are plaguing humanity. Um, it, it's kind of stupid because the only reason this guy got this made was because of technology. Uh, technology is invented by science. So the mere fact that he's using something invented by science to discredit science, again, theists and especially fundamentalists have no self of sense, sense of self-awareness. They just have none. They just don't know uh, how, how silly they're being. With Henri and an eight ago. And, and so the accents on these guys, I, I think they're kind of, um, they're English accents. So they're sort of trying to do, oh, well, you know, English well-speaking people are, are, are bad. Um, these are, though, lower, lower class accents from England, sort of the more Cockney kind of accents. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think that they're trying to associate English accents with bad people. Um, it, it's kind of very weird. It's very weird. What? Speech! Action! God's Gang, go! That was what speech action God Gang go. I, I it doesn't roll off the tongue for me. It it doesn't. Um, I I you know I I this is really weird. It's kind of this anti technology thing. Look, they're using the technology to attack you. We're going to use thought, speech, and action. Um, you know, but what what's hilarious? What's hilarious for me? Is it's thought, speech, action, God's gang go, while he's using technology to promote his message. That's the irony here. You're using, you know, the internet and um um you know modern um cinematic techniques, modern cartoon techniques to promote your message while saying thought, speech, action. It it the irony is just, I mean, it would be delicious if this wasn't so horribly offensive to people. And um, yeah. <laughs> you to the rescue! <laughs> oh, oy vey. oh, that's just really, really, really. You had to throw an oy vey in there. Ah, oh, really? Maybe I don't have like a, a a a deep connection to the Jewish culture, but I, I don't I don't really think they they kind of say that. Yeah, it, it's kind of it, it's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Not to fear, Chris Cross is here, flying to us. Yeah, can I just point out that the. Uh, the Jewish guy failed to rescue the children, and then the Christian guy comes and saves them. I don't know if there's a message intentionally being promoted there, but it kind of is, eh. I, I, I really think that they're sort of setting it up as in the, the Jewish guy fails and the, the, the Christian guy succeeds. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, yeah, yeah, no, I got you, like, LaBelle. Um, the the Jewish character fell flat on his face. Yeah, I, I kind of he he can almost do it because he's almost a Christian. Yeah, just just one more Messiah. Just just one more. Just like a uh, but yeah. Oi, go kidnap your own playmate. Let's go steal some friends off the bumper cars. Think again, nerd herd. Yeah, so he just used nerd herd. Um. So my my problem with sort of um using nerdy as an insult um you 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 you're basically engaging in anti intellectualism you're basically saying hey you study you you learn you 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 are intelligent you're a nerd what about being intelligent is um is bad 
that that's like I've seen people go, oh, you know, um, uh, that that you know, someone running for office, and they're like, oh, well, he's just a nerd kind of thing. It's like, what about an intelligent um, leader makes you so uncomfortable? Like, what what about that makes you uncomfortable? What about somebody that can, you know, have think on their feet and and be intelligent? What what is that that's that's sort of intimidating to you? I, I don't understand. But yeah, this is definitely setting it up as oh, you know, hate the people that are nerds. You know, like this is for children. Can you imagine when they go to the doctor and see you know somebody in a white coat? I, 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 you know, I, I look, Earl. I, I absolutely, I absolutely think that sort of reclaiming the word is 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 a good idea. I, I do. It's just this this cartoon. You know, the way it's throwing it out. Why do they make it so cringe? I don't think they can help it, old stuff. And I, I don't think they can. I, I think that they're they're. Um, I, I I think that they're sort of locked into this idea of of. Faith has to be against science kind of thing. It's, it's horrible. Check one and do. Block and tackle. You read my mind, which is weird because I'm the telepath. Yeah, I, I'd really like them to find, a, you know, an, an Indian woman to voice that. Like just a slight accent would even be way better because she sounds like she was, yeah, I, I, I don't know why the others' accents are all so exaggerated and hers is just, you know, normal American, I presume normal American, your your experience may differ, but to me it sounds like just your average American accent on any show ever. I don't know why. It's inconsistent. And not that I like them doing a um a you know these these way over the top accents for everybody else, because they are over the top. You know, you can just speak in a normal, you don't have to have this this real you know, um, um, 70s ghetto accent for the guy. And you don't you don't need to have the 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 Jewish guy speaking like that. And then then the 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 Hindu girl is just normal, you know, valley girl accent. It's 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 yeah, it, it's horrible. <laughs> okay, now we're in another scientist. Too bad, because stealing animals is a type one don't. Uh, stealing animals is a type one don't. Okay. I, I, they didn't actually steal any animals. Um, those were inanimate um, horses that they changed into um, some form of monster. So they never stole any animals. Yeah, she just did a Kali. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Um, they probably don't know much about Hinduism and that Kali is the, the goddess of death there. I, 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 they probably don't know that. You know, I don't think they know a lot about Hinduism at all. But, you know. Uh, are there any other multiple um, multi-armed gods in Hinduism? Isn't Vishnu multi-armed? Um, Yeah, there's there's other deities with multi arm, but yes, I, I I do get get your point. I I really do. Um, but all I'm trying to say is they didn't steal any animals, so I don't know why she said that. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Still be Sunday school or Hebrew school, right, Ninju? Hey, where is Ninju? Uh, I like. Yeah. So yeah. Um, not sure what you're talking about. Maybe, maybe talk to Titan. I, I trust Titan. Just, just hit up Titan, girl. Not a worry. Not a worry, mate. And you guys down. I just wasn't big enough for the job. Ah, don't say that. You weren't big enough for that. I, I, I really dislike these horrible stereotypes they're making. It, it's just, it's just horrible. Hey, Ninju, even LeBron Jordan sometimes misses the shot. <laughs> what? He's the best player in the NBA. Uh, Cheer up, bud. What? Huh? A work call. Reading. Yeah, and this is this is the thing. Like they they they're instantly like communicating with the Christian heaven, and there's angels, there's halos, there's all of this Christian iconography. Um, it, it's 
it's really bad, like how they're sort of saying, hey, but they're all really Christian underneath, you know, it, it's it's really horrible. Hey, Miss Dogma. What up, my fur friend? I have an urgent search and rescue mission for you from you know who. But we had the day off. Sorry to cut off your... Imp who? I don't know who. Would you re be referring to the Christian God, perhaps? Angel Dog, who, who clearly is a, a Christian iconography? I don't know. I don't know. It, it's very strange. Well, their name is Miss Dogma. So it's literally that dogma, which dogma is the sort of um, the unquestionable beliefs in a system um, or the unquestionable tenets of a system that you have to believe. Um, you know, dogma is literally who is handling them, which is so unself-aware, so unself-aware. Uh, yeah, well, if, if they're a problem, definitely. There you go. No problem at all. Um, so, um, yeah, so, so the dogma is the thing that is controlling them, but just hilariously enough. I mean, the irony is palpable. It, it's just palpable. Cotton, cotton candy business, Sumo Slim. But do you think evil takes a day off? Probably Wednesday. Nobody wants to come to work on Wednesday. Well, it's too. Yeah, so there's the the sort of, you know, that I, I feel like that's a, a sort of, maybe I'm overanalyzing. I feel like that's sort of a lazy Jew reference, which, you know, it's just terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's uh, it's absolutely terrible what they're sort of insinuating in this. And the world's entire population of blue whales is disappearing. <gasps> disappearing? But where are they going? Yeah, Chris, that's the search and rescue part. Okay, but do we have any leads on where they've gone? Not yet. But Ladov has picked up the trail and is looking right now. Miss Dogma, uh, what about if they... Enough questions. Go save the whale. Yeah, don't question Dogma. Don't question the Dogma. Just follow what the dogma says and don't question it. No, no questions to dogma. Wow, I, I, I. D All right, gang, time to ship this van into wet gear. Page and come in, Ledoux. Do you have a visual on the way? Ledoux. Dove isn't a French word, it's le pigeon. Oh. I, 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 I dislike everything about this. And now they're hassling the French, which, sure, I, 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 I whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm so beyond it at this point. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting. Who design? if scientists are so bad, who designed their, their, their freaking car here? You've obviously got some high tech in there. Was did your religion design that? Did did you taekwondo kick this this van into like its current current form? Who did the van? Was it I don't know scientists? It was over. Okay, so to, to be continued, I, I I so hope not. I so hope I never have to do another one of those. This like so this was pretty offensive. Like just the. The accents, the 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 bell bottoms on the black guy, the afro on the black guy, the the pimp style on the black guy, the 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 Jewish guy being a failure and too small and um, just just horrible, just horrible. Um, yeah, just awful. Um, the next thing I, I have to show you is the interview where he kind of goes through and sort of talks about. What the hell he was thinking? Um, you know, and, and the fact that, you know, that the devil's the evil thing they've got to conquer, and just just the 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 treatment of intelligent scientists as well, they're just mad scientists. It's it's so horrible. No, 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 you stop. You stop. <laughs> stop it, you don't, don't, don't. Never. 
Never, never, never. Okay. Um, yeah. So that was the cartoon. This is kind of an interview with the guy, and we'll go through. I won't do the whole thing. It's quite a long. It's like an hour interview, so I certainly won't do the whole thing. But um, I, I will sort of point out what his motivations were and where the guy has actually gone really wrong. Look, you can research on your own time, Titan. Get the hell out of here. You with the folks behind God's Gang, which um, it, it, I got to say, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, usually most folks who get the Twitter treatment where Twitter dogpile somebody, they typically keep their dukes up and they're like, how dare you talk about my creation? But you all have a spirit of conversation, which is always a yeah, so so they basically got attacked on Twitter and 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 absolutely slaughtered for quite frankly obvious reasons. So all of the um hi Isa, good to see you, mate. Um so all of the people that were um sort of you know that that sort of saw the the inherent you know racism in the the Jewish guy and the 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 Hindu girl them not bothering to find an Indian person and the sort of the really sort of um horrible depiction of the the muslim guy is stupid and let's not even getting on to the jewish guy being sort of short and useless absolutely attacked them and rightfully so but they also got attacked by the religious people who went no you can't just lump all the faiths into one and then have it overseen by christian iconography you're you're, you're basically just trying to christianize the other faiths and I think they have a fair point too. I really do. So um, um, I, I, I really think that um, everybody criticised this thing. Like Everybody criticised this thing, both the people going, well, why are the scientists bad guys, to the, the religious people saying, hey, why is, is my faith being portrayed in this way? Um, you know, I, I think they're all valid concerns. There is so much wrong with this cartoon. Um, it, it's kind of the guy that I don't think he means that badly by it. I think it's just a really, really, really ignorant effort on his his and his creators' parts. Um, yeah. Good night. Is somebody leaving? Good night. Good night, Eric. Thanks, mate. See you later. Um, I, I really think it's ignorant, but I, I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's got no idea what he's doing, quite frankly. Plus, for me, it's always good for, you know, being able to flesh out, like, what brought you to your creation? What is your inspiration? What's the goal of your series? Stuff like that. Because believe it or not, I think organic, you know, conversation can help a lot with people with actually, you know, a discussion. So I thank you, uh, Nimrod, for joining. Yeah, and the, the spirit of conversation kind of thing, It's it's sort of like, yeah, you, you'll talk about it. it. It's a very weird way to say, hey, you're willing to talk about it. I don't, it, it's sort of, to, to me as as sort of a, an atheist, I sort of go, well, and there, there's no spirit here. It's just, I am willing to talk. It, it's just odd. The the way that, that they talk is very strange to me, but that's, it's a minor nitpick, really. Today. Thank you for having us. And uh, thank you for giving us the opportunity to tell a little bit more about it. So this is Nimrod, the, the creator of it. And he's sort of, He's going to talk about why he created it, and and I, I I have some doubts about his motivations, but you know creation. Um, you want to know how it all started? That's the best way to go. Let's let's start let's, let's start off with the very beginning. So the very beginning was back in two thousand and six. I used to work as a, a marketeer for the Disney channels. Can you guys hear that? It is a little soft to me. Um, I, I maybe can boost the uh, sound if you want. Um. So, so let me know if I need to do any any changes. Out of Israel, they just launched a new channel, which was branded Jetix because they yeah. acquired Fox Entertainment from uh, Saban <clears throat> and Fox Kids. Hello. Okay. Give me a sec. I got a I got a volume booster that should work. Uh... $2 billion dollars for for some pretty cool titles and i think back then their leader was the power rangers mm -hmm. but they also had like sonic sonic the hedgehog and other um <clears throat> known brands and we were all invited into this disney executive summit um, which was held in orlando and they told us listen um nick are doing pretty good oh, give me one sec sorry um
Uh, I'll try to boost. with this yellow sponge residing in, in Bikini Bottom. And um, there are these Spanish-American speaking girl with a booted monkey that's also um, getting a lot of attention right now. And, oh. and they ask, ask marketeers, so what, what, what would you suggest that we do? And I remember myself sending, I was back then 36 years old. I disclosed my... Oh, okay. L let me see what I can do about it. I'm, I'm having trouble with this booster. Um, do -do 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 -do. I might have to shop, stop sharing for one second to get this to work. Yeah. Give me a sec. Um, weird. Okay, give me. I, I can figure this out. I can figure this out. I can figure this. This this will not ruin me. This this will be overcome. This will be overcome. Um, Holding booster. Why won't it select it? I don't know why it won't select it. This is so strange. This is so strange. This is so strange. Give me one sec. Okay. Um, hmm. Google Chrome at max. Uh, oh, I, I, what's is StreamYard doing it? Hold on, I'll, I'll be, I'll be right back. Just give me one second. Okay, so the volume booster that I'm using just is not working. It's just not working at all. So I, I don't know what to do about that. Unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do. Unfortunately, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm just thinking, is there anything else I can possibly do to help? Um, I may be able to. Oh, I can, I can try that. Um, where's the, there it is. Uh, open in a media player, um, can I boost the sound of the media player? Maybe not. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what else I can do to boost it. I may not be able to. I'm, I'm really annoyed at this volume booster program. It should be working, and it is 100% not working at all. Uh, which is like it doesn't make any change to the to the to the volume in the slightest. I'm very disappointed in this thing. Uh, okay, well, I, I, there's not much I can do for the moment. Um, um, crap. Oh, I hate that. You're getting a downvote. You're a hundred percent getting a downvote. All right. Um, I, I will. I will put it back on because I, I do want to share this with you. But that is really frustrating. I got this thing to boost volume. Like seriously, why aren't you working? I, I dislike you immensely. And and Streamyard seems to be hijacking my entire sound system. I, I don't know what's happening. That is so weird. Holy crap. That is so odd. Uh, I hate you. I hate you so much. Right, now I've lost my spot. Uh, let's see. Okay. Monkey, that's also um, getting a lot of attention right now, um, and they ask ask marketeers. So, what 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 would you suggest that we do? And I remember myself sending. I was back then thirty six years old. I disclosed my old age, mm -hmm. um, and I stood on stage in front of one hundred and twenty Disney executives. Just that you understand, these are managing directors, marketeers, and program managers. Of course. And I told him, well, I have two great ideas. Like I felt very proud. And I said, let's send the first kid into orbit. <laughs> and they looked at me pretty shocked. And, and I told them, well, you don't believe it, but I just corresponded with Virgin Galactic and they're gonna say they're gonna be flying tourists to space very mm -hmm. soon for uh, 200. Okay, I think I got it. Is that better? Is that better? Did I fix it? Did I do something technical? Did I do something technical? Did did it, did I do something that made made a difference? Okay, so he's talking about like he's 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 this guy that comes up with pretty wacky ideas, right? So he's he sort of Virgin Galactic was doing tours, so he kind of said, "Well, let's send a kid into space." Can I just explain how bad an idea that is? Can I can I um, can I can I just just sort of explain how terrible an idea that is, like? You've got a new industry where um, people sort of are in huge danger, um, and you're, you're talking about sending a child up there. I I I don't I don't know about that one, Chief. I, I really don't. Thousand dollars, by the way, only happened like last year, I think. Right. But um, I I realize you know nobody's gonna jeopardize uh, until at least a hundred thousand. Travelers flew uh, safety um, safely back uh, from you know on the, all the way up and down. Right. Yeah, no joke. Yeah, no one's going to put a kid up there until we've actually had like um, it, it's very very reliable. You know, challenge. We don't need challenger disaster, but with children. You know, that's not what we're after because space flight and space research and money into space is, is vulnerable enough as it is without having children dying and people going, hey, we've really got to rethink this whole space thing. Um, uh, right. and, and so they, they rejected the idea. And then I said, well, I have another idea. Well, you just paid $5 billion for this group of superheroes um, fighting these alien uh, clay aliens uh, managed by this crook called Rita. Why don't you make them interface? And that's where I was actually um, very surprised because they all said, "Wow, that's a great idea." I told them, "Yeah, let's let's show we can work together." Yeah, let let let's make them interfaith. That's a yeah. You know what? It, it's not a bad idea. It's just how do you implement that without getting something like this? 
Like, how do you, um, how do you implement this? Um, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's just, yeah, okay. I, I, I like your idea of hey, let's bring peace between faiths. But I, I think he's just really thinking. Well, let's let's just bring everybody under Christianity, kind of thing. It, it, I don't know, or Westernizing it kind of thing, you know, let's westernize all the other faith. I think it's a, your intentions may have been good, but it is a bad idea. It was never on the air, um, Golf Easy. It was, ne it was never on the air. This, this was a, a sort of crowdfunder kind of thing. He's trying to get it up and running. It is the most horrible thing. You just find on YouTube. He just puts it up there kind of thing. So yeah, let's make one. Yeah, God can tell same by suggestion. That's a good point, Andrew. Really anything. After, after suggesting putting a kid into space, just about anything will seem reasonable. You know. Uh, 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 let's transport, you know, huge amounts of concrete by jet. That sounds reasonable after child in space. I'm a Christian and a Jewish and a, and a Muslim. And, and they started the dish. But not the Satanist. Oh, no, 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 no. The Satanists are bad. And let's not include somebody who's atheist in there. No, 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 no. We can't do that. Can't do that. Why isn't there an atheist with them or an agnostic? You know, I, I feel it's really just just minimizing people. Like, it's just they're two dimensional. But I guess it was too sensitive for them back then uh, to try and tackle. It's too sensitive for everybody now. Yeah, yeah, Buddhists. Yeah, I was thinking Buddhists as well, Labelle. Um, what about Zoro Zoroastrianism? What about paganism? What about sort of, you know, uh, 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 like I said, Satanists and stuff? Well, that they were scientists, or were they the Satanists? I don't know, but whoever they were, they they were insane. On how we can basically come up with um with a group of um, heroes coming from different religions and, and, and cultural backgrounds. So I said, okay, I will do it. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a cool idea. It's not a cool idea. It's not a cool idea at all. Not in the way you've done it anyway. Like, you really have not um, fleshed out these characters so they're anything but just the faith they're from and whatever they're using to kick people in the head. That's all. It, it, it's very, very two-dimensional, very reductive is the word I was looking for. It, it's horrible. Like the thing about Power Rangers, the thing about Power Rangers, which is obviously trying to copy its Power Rangers, uh, not Power Rangers, um, Captain Planet, I'm sorry, Captain Planet with faith, basically. The thing about Captain Planet is you had different personalities. You had um, the, the I think it was the Fire Girl who was sort of, you know, headstrong and, and, and you had these dynamics of different, different people. It wasn't just all they are is, their culture and their element that that wasn't the, the cartoon right and and so he's sort of seen um the uh ecological message of captain planet and going well we can use that to push religion you know instead of captain planet pushing um um uh, uh responsible ecological management um or you know that the, 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 they want to push religion but it doesn't work because you haven't you haven't made the the actual characters characters they're just cut out cardboard things of of um you know yeah no i i get you i think one of the 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 characters was was highly religious and stuff but you know i i i don't have a problem with that because those people exist in our culture sure um but at the same time, the, the character can't just be their religion. That's not what anybody is. I really thought it was a cool idea, and I know how Disney can become very successful when they're launching their, their brands and selling consumer products. And I said, it's going to, you know, I, I was vain and stupid enough uh, at the age of 36 to say, yeah, it's, people are not going to say apathic when I'm going to put an interfaith group. Mm -hmm. And I basically started drafting the universe of Thrust King. I can show you a presentation I made with the same names, same characters, 
Yeah, I... See, this is the thing. Here's the thing. This man, and, and like, I admire his determination, but this man had the same names, same characters, everything the same, got feedback on it, and still went, no, everyone is wrong about this. Right? Everyone is wrong. I am going to do this. Different. It reminds me of, I think there was a Patton Oswald stand up about a film and like, um, like either, either he, he, um, <laughs> either he believes like this is good no matter what anybody says or, or he had the determination to finish it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there's a really good Patton Oswald standing up about that, about, um, I think it was about deathbed or something. Like the guy, either either he believes sincerely this is good, or he just had, like you know, he had the determination to go. No, I will finish what I start, and just kept at it, kind of thing. Even though he knew it was shocking. Um, I think this is the former. This is the guy going. No, everybody else in the world is wrong. This is the most amazing idea that has ever been put to paper. And just absolutely believes it. Designers that worked on it back in 2006, but God's Gang with Ninju and Sumo Slim and Taekwondo. And we uh, th th even now, the names make me cringe. Like, seriously, why can't they, they be like, um, you know, you know, name the character I did? It, it's, it's, uh, um, you know, Seth and, and, um, you know, uh, 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 Sura and, and, you know, why not give them names? Why can't these people have names? I don't. I know it's just a children's cartoon, but you're you're sort of teaching children that that these these faiths and these these people are not, you know, they don't even have names. They're just they're just that Muslim guy and that small Jewish guy and that, you know, Indian girl. It's really really reductive. We said, oh, like, these are cool names. These are very funny names. Mm -hmm. They do martial arts. They're not funny. Then, then there's nothing like Ninju. There's nothing funny about that name. There, there's nothing funny about it. Arts and and people like it. Why? Because people like uh, to see martial arts, and uh, they will relate to their to the characters based on their faith. Mm -hmm. So it would. Okay. So. <sighs> so when he says people like seeing martial arts he's kind of right yeah people do like seeing martial arts but people is not who this cartoon is for this is for small children and while some small children may or may not like seeing martial arts you've got to you know fit the content to your audience not just like to people in general i i I don't know. There's something really weird about this where he says people like seeing martial arts. Yeah, people like seeing horror films as well. It doesn't mean that you make it for kids. I, I, I don't... What... It'd be an easy global sell. That was, you know, the assumptions. Oh, you thought it'd be an easy global sell. I, I don't know. It's like he's got this faith in this cartoon that's completely... I'm really sorry, Nimrod. It's completely unwarranted, mate. It is in the early days so this project has been uh you know in incubating for quite some time then yes why now this is a great question um it's 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 basically been waiting for for i would say the COVID to come mm -hmm. um, but it's not it's not the COVID that was in the yeah so he's now talking about the pandemic yes and i want to say like i support all medical science here um or all, all, all medical science. Uh, I don't give any science misinformation. I I I, I absolutely um, um, condone those trying to give out medical information, especially on this subject. I want to I want to get that up front. I want to get that up front. Um, yeah. Uh, it's like indoctrination. I don't know about that. I, I'm not sure if it is. I I. I from from the interview, I got a different take on it. Uh, 
if it is, it's kind of not, you know, I, I think it's just, um, so is, is teaching your faith to kids necessarily indoctrination? I think no, but I think that some people, um, when you sort of say, um, they don't recognize indoctrination in the way that fish don't recognize water, right? What, what do I mean by that? Um, that some people are so far indoctrinated and in that, that indoctrination process and, and that, that, um, that uh, world of, of imparting to children, you know, you, that, that's so normalized in certain areas that they don't even know that it's indoctrination. What they're doing is indoctrination. It is just what they do. So it's not sort of intentional indoctrination, but it's indoctrination all the same. And I think that's where he is. That that and and hey, I love that quote that I made. Um, some people don't recognize indoctrination like fish don't recognize water. They they're so ingrained in it that it just doesn't even occur to them to be that would be indoctrination. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. And you'll find that out in the interview. You'll find that out in the interview. I gotcha. The accelerating uh, part. Basically realizing that, you know, I did a 15 year journey in, in two, I would say parallel tracks. One I was very, very aware of, and the other one, I had no idea. I was basically pursuing, you know, a path that led me to, uh, to create God's gang and, and, and take it out officially. So one path was basically is um as a pretty successful creative guy doing marketing chief marketing officer launching startups and and helping out different companies to do so the the question is did did this guy really have any sort of background in artistic design or any kind of like because marketing is not the same as designing an animation Right, like there, there are producers for a reason and, and sort of directors for a reason. So um, this guy's a, a marketing guy. Uh, okay, and he wants to, he wants to think that, that um, interfaith cooperation is a highly marketable commodity. I, I, I'm not sure he's that good of a marketer. I really am not. Brand development and brand management and strategies. Um, and that was great, you know, becoming more and more um, <clears throat> in professional on, on, on Web3 gaming and, mm -hmm. and different AI technologies and, and so on and so forth. But that's nice. That I, I, I call it the work of matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is all like, you know, you can sort of see where he's talking about science and that's the work of matter. Um, he's got this idea that that um, he, he doesn't give credit where credit's due for the scientific stuff that he's using. He just sort of goes, well, faith is superior to that. It's a superiority thing. And I think this colours a lot of what he's doing. I mean, I don't know him. I don't know that for sure. But that's what I get from this interview. At the same time, I had a realization. I was very, um, um, I, I was an unbeliever. I grew up in a. Uh, no, I haven't, Peter Ray. Why do I feel like I'm being set up? Why do I? I've I've heard of Bible Man. I've never seen it. Um, if if you do want, I guess I could do a reaction to it if if it's available somewhere. Um, I, I usually just grab off YouTube, but um, I I can, I guess. Um, sure. But I feel like I'm being set up. I feel like in a family where my dad was a Holocaust survivor. And oh. how can you tell someone in, who survived the Holocaust that there's God? And I was indoctrinated as a Nazi. But the... Yeah, so he was indoctrinated as a Nazi, right? So he basically, his dad was a Holocaust survivor. And while he was a child there, he was indoctrinated into the, to the Nazi party, which is weird that he's now doing sort of i mean I, I wouldn't go so far as to call this indoctrination but this sort of anti-science rhetoric kind of thing the age of 36 something very unique happened to me um which was um the start of um of a wonderful spiritual journey something that i i couldn't 
something you know um it, it's a singular point in time where where every where all the stars aligns and you say okay this is not a coincidence hmm. i felt like there's a, a puppet master doing something that i wasn't aware of yeah so this this is the thing and this is where you can look back and say okay i'm a marketer for for anime or children's cartoons or you know sort of animated series all of this stuff i have these beliefs kind of thing i have um um sort of um all, all of these things line up it must be the will of a creator will of somebody to make you do this no it's not like it's just synchronicity it's just a number of things line up it is like coincidence but it's not really coincidence because um you're assigning purpose to these things where there is none like you just were in marketing and you decided that that was your goal in life okay and i'm curious i'm a nimrod i know what nimrod means uh, for american speakers i'm also abraham that's my second name that's my real name that my mom gave me which is very funny because like these are two opposing energies it's a yin and yang kind of combination okay um, yeah so so your parents named you Nim nimrod abraham which nimrod was a king i believe in the bible um and abraham was obviously the the one of the founding um um patriarchs of of the, the old testament so he's kind of trying to say hey there's significance to this not really your your parents were religious and they named you after figures in their religion I, I don't see the the sort of significance of that I, I really don't so with that being said um you know realizing um, there's something bigger than myself and my ego um I went to look for it okay and, and um I basically um, search for God. And um, the first place that I looked was, you know, the, the closest place for me was Judaism. Okay. And uh, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's fine. I, I, I get you. But no quote here. I, I didn't feel it was satisfying enough. I, <laughs> oh, really? You weren't a, 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 a ninju deep down? A ninju? Uh, look, that's not me hassling Joe. That's his name for his Jewish character. I, I, I feel like, you know, it's, uh, yeah. Oh, look, guys, if, if you've got any suggestions for what I should uh, do on my fundamentalist fails, just send it through to my email. I, I'll put my email in the chat. I'm more than happy for everybody to send me, you know, suggestions if you want it. Um, I, I'm more than happy. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, just send them through and, and, and you know, I'll, I'll check it out and see if it does sort of fit. Um, that That's fine. I felt I needed to understand more. So I went and, and studied in, I would say, the, the metaphysics uh, of the universe. Um, there are exterior. Oh, he studied the metaphysics of the universe. Yep, he just said that. What metaphysics? Like, so metaphysics, um, people sort of associate metaphysics with supernatural, and that is not so, right? That That is not what metaphysics is. So metaphysics is just sort of saying the... Um, the overriding reality kind of thing be, behind everything because because sort of our, our perceptions and our um our, our sort of interpretations um you, you're sort of saying the metaphysical is beyond that it's whatever the actual reality is kind of thing so um metaphysics is sort of um it doesn't necessarily mean supernatural it, it's talking about the the universe and its properties in a meta way like a, above that kind of way so if you're talking about um logic for instance you're talking about sort of metaphysics how that applies to the actual world um because you're not talking about sort of how that is applicable to um say a um a circuit for instance electronic circuit use logic gates right so if you're talking about why 
that logic works or why that logic exists, the logic being the sort of physical circuit that you've got, you're talking in meta about it. So it's metaphysics. It doesn't necessarily mean um, supernatural, but a lot of people equate them, uh, sort of mistakenly think they're exactly the same thing. And that is not true. Your books to the Torah, to the Bible, like the book of creation and the book of Enoch and the Sumerian scripts and, 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 and the Zohar. And then I, I, I studied. Well, I mean, it relates to epistemology. It's not it's not epistemology because epistemology is how we know stuff. Um, it, it's more like um, um, talking about. Um, it, it's more talking like uh, about the ontology kind of thing than anything else. So so what actually is how how things actually came about, because you can say, hey, here are the physical properties of the universe. How did that come about? What's the most likely explanation kind of thing? Um, it's not necessarily epistemology where you're justifying your knowledge, but rather you're speaking about, say, what could possibly be, um, what is other things that could possibly be? Is there something above that that reality? It, it's more just talking in a meta way about the, the physical things that we see around us. Um, so it, it, it absolutely can be supernatural. Absolutely. I, I certainly would never claim that to be the case. But in a philosophical sense, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Buddhism, and it was like opening more, it, it's, it's expanding consciousness mm -hmm. and, and, and getting yourself the understanding um, of, I would say, more truth about our life here. And um, since I pursued technology, uh, it was very important for me to base it with science. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, nothing more important than science for this guy. I, I, it's, it's really weird the way he talks about this because he's he's trying to tie in science to spirituality, and the two are almost antithetical to one another. I, I don't see how you can tie in science to to spirituality. Um, I guess they're not in conflict, but they're not, you know, you can't tie them in either, not unless you can produce naturalistic spirituality, which maybe he thinks he can, but, uh, you know, most people that have some kind of spiritual belief think that it's beyond science. They basically go, yeah, science can't investigate it. At that point, you just cannot tie science in with it. You can't. So I, I don't know why he's sort of saying, hey, it's important for me to have science in here. And um, I started understanding what quantum entanglements mean and what quantum physics and quantum mechanics and superpositions. and and Ah, I gotcha. So he started watching Deepak Chopra. I gotcha. Yeah, no, this, um, this is... Uh, This is um, a, a sort of, oh, well, I'm going to sort of watch some or, or get some understanding of quantum science and then tie it in with my religion. It's very wooish that I'm picking up here. Very, very wooish. And, and like Deepak Chopra is the, the master of getting scientific terms, stating them in relation to spiritual, uh, spiritualistic terms, and then saying, you, you know, um, um, that, that they, those time with one another and the science supports my spirituality. You know, it, it opened a wonderful world of realizations about who we are and what is matter. It's, it's energy, basically in, in a high feed vibration. And it was all separated from a singular source. And I'm saying to myself, wait, I realize that we all separated the, the Big Bang, even from a scientific level, from this singular event, and which is... Well... Plus one, he gets he gets a uh, he gets a tick of approval because he does acknowledge the Big Bang. Well done, well done, well done, sir. I I I will pay that. I will pay that. Good, 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 good. Uh, it's it's you know, has anyone else thought um, like in this YouTube sphere when you're you're running around? I don't know if you run around the the circles as much as I do. That it, it, it's. It's a plus when you run into a theist that actually acknowledges the Big Bang is true. 
Like that's sad. That's really sad. Like it, just one of the things that we know to be true about our universe. It, it's good when we run into somebody and they're like, oh yeah, the Big Bang's real and I'm a theist. It's like, oh wow, that's awesome. Sometimes it feels like they're a unicorn, but I, I know they're not. I know that most theists out there are um, perfectly fine with Big Bang cosmology and you know evolution and stuff like that. They're just not in the spheres I run into in YouTube, and that that's kind of sad. Um, but you know, most of them have you know the ones that I run into are the ones who want to challenge the science on things that have been conclusively proved, like evolution. The ones that don't care aren't in in you know sort of um, in in the rooms that I'm generally running into. Called the genesis of, of, of the universe, um, which is great. So, yeah, that's just what they call it. It doesn't mean it's related to, in any way to Genesis. Like they just call it the Genesis. Genesis just means the beginning. The, that's all it means. It doesn't. Okay. We're all one. We basically come from the same origin, and 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 realizing this. I'm, and and you study and you study Buddhism and you study even in Judaism and Islam and and and, and Christianity even the, the art of Jesus is love thy neighbor. Yeah. So basically, it all came down to two principles. When I try to see how I can create a common denominator between all religions, then we all come from a singular creator, and if that. Yeah, so there's nothing there's nothing in Christianity that says we're all one. Like he sort of says, love thy neighbor, but um, it, th there's nothing that really says, hey, we are one. Um, like you, you can look at the universe in a sort of um, holistic way, sort of everything's connected kind of thing. You can do that. That's okay. Um, and that maybe that individual, say, atoms are um, sort of emergent properties from one thing. Um, but there, there's, there's, you know, Christianity doesn't say that. It, you know, it certainly doesn't. And sort of love thy neighbour, it, it isn't, you know, it doesn't have any reason for that as being, oh, because you are that neighbour when you get down to it really, when you really think about it, you know, like, like, you know, 4 p.m. after you've smoked too much weed, you know, you're sitting there going, oh, we all won, really, because we came from a big bang. This is what this sounds like. It sounds like this guy had a, you know, a, a bit of a bit of a weed bender and just just started to come up with this stuff. I'm, I'm really, I'm being so harsh on him. I feel kind of mean, but, you know, it really does sound like one of those thoughts kind of thing. So then there's only one energy that needs to be applied in, in our life in order for us to enjoy life. Mm -hmm. And that's love. And I'm sorry for being cliched or 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 uh, or, or not very original. Um, but love is an energy; it can be measured. And uh, no, no, Big Bang hasn't been disproven by the James Webb. They're basically saying that um, there's there's basically star formations that are a lot earlier than what they thought. So it does sort of. Um, bring into question our understanding of um, um, solar system formation and, and star formation but it, and, and galaxy formation, but it doesn't actually overturn Big Bang. It, it doesn't. No. No, James Webb doesn't do that. Um, it certainly does, like, let it have, have, we have to re-examine galaxy formation in a big way, like when galaxies actually formed, but it doesn't, it doesn't overturn Big Bang, I'm sorry. Um, I know I know that a lot of a lot of sort of um, creationist people have been banding that around. It, it, it hasn't. Then COVID came, you know, alongside me doing strategies and doing my consciousness expanding and, and realizations and, and experimenting with molecules. And I said to myself, this is the time for God's gang because I, I, I felt that the COVID was some kind of evil energy that's been brought. Yeah, so he just said that COVID was some kind of evil energy that's been brought onto the planet. He's going to say onto the planet. To our planet. Yeah, so I want to go through that again. And experimenting with molecules, and I said to myself, 
this is the time for God's gang because I, I, I felt that the COVID was some kind of evil energy that's been brought to our planet. Yes. So that man just said that COVID was an evil energy brought. I, I cannot, I cannot in any way possibly like sort of condemn that kind of statement enough. No disease at all ever is an evil energy brought to our planet. This is the kind of thinking that gets you into trouble. Like we've got to address things for what they are, not our ideas of them based upon how metaphysics and 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 sort of your 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 investigation into to your quantum stuff makes you think it is. It's ridiculous. And I started realizing that again we're being separated. They took the vaccine. They didn't take the vaccine. They did it. Like everything be, be, became crazy, and I saw people walking in streets all over the world. By the way, with with fear in their eyes. So he's basically saying that there was division within humanity. That some people did want to take vaccines. Some people didn't take the vaccines. They prevented so much death. Does anyone remember polio? Of course not. We eliminated it. And now for some reason, people want to bring it back. For some reason, I, I cannot understand why. There's a reason why we do this. And listen to the medical professionals. Like, why are you trying to interpret your understanding of quantum, quantum fields and your faith in God to determine whether you medically should take this thing or not it's not like you break a limb and go well what does my quantum knowledge and and sort of what what um um my spirituality says about that broken leg no you you go to a medical professional is it a break is it a strain is it is it something seriously this is so crazy and he's talking about why this cartoon is important eyes um, and with uncertainties and there's the overtone that that was okay i i cannot leave my house for more than one kilometer or one mile then 100 feet like every, every time they they, they, they they even brought us into a narrower space yeah sorry do you know how germ theory works Am I talking to someone that has no knowledge of germ theory? So let me get this straight. You investigated quantum physics and you don't understand germ theory. I, I have my doubts. I have my doubts you investigated quantum, uh, quantum mechanics and you don't know how germ theory works. Like, I, I get it was a hard time. I get it was rough until we, we got the vaccine and then it wasn't so rough anymore. Listen to medical professionals. Um, do not, you know, like it, he's basically saying, hey, they constrained us, bad them. Was it? Or what is it medically necessary? Because it seems like he's going, well, scientists didn't let us do what we want. Bad scientists. That's not what they were doing. They weren't trying to m mess up your life or make people afraid. We had a problem. Oh, and that basically was for me. April twenty one was the relaunching of God's Gang and taking out all the way. May I ask him follow up questions, if I may? Of course. So, yeah. So this is sort of just a guy, and and that's why I think he's the reason why he's portraying the scientists as the bad guys, the evil scientists. I think that he went through a rough time during the, the the pandemic, as as we all did, you know, we're all, uh, some people coped better than others. I, I granted like a recluse like me didn't do too badly, but, um, you know, it, it was a hard time for everybody. It was a lot of fear around, yes. But can I remind you during the time of the Spanish flu, a third of the world died, like a third, a third of the population died, right? We we actually coped with it relatively well, all things considered. It could have been better, 
I, 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 I acknowledge that it could have been way better, but sort of it could have been way, 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 way worse, way worse. Um, you know, I, I, I honestly think it could have been way worse. So, um. It's like the, the, the information that we got and what we had to go through until who came up with a way to around it? Science did. So I, I think he's just going, science bad. Um, let's make them the bad guy. Uh, don't like them. So um, off the bat, uh, your intention, uh, at least my impression, is one of, of real sincerity, which is a relief. Because um, I, I feel like so much uh, of this conversation is one of optimism versus pessimism, where uh, I suppose in a world that does feel quite cynical, when I see something like God's Gang initially, uh, there's that, you know, and maybe it's just the, the way the internet's gone to make a lot of people very cynical, just reactionary. But to see it being like, oh, it has to be a joke, or this 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 comes across as you know insincere. When in reality, it's like, no, you had a real conviction here that was not pessimistic but optimistic. You you weren't doing this to sling any products. Uh, you're doing this because it sounds like it came from a really real place in your heart. It came from the most honest, sincere. Wish I'm a father. I'm a father of three daughters. I have a 21 year old daughter and a six year old daughter who just called me twice <laughs> and I didn't answer. I feel bad. And um, <clears throat> I, I always saw myself as a very honest guy. I cannot lie. Like mm -hmm. for some reason, I cannot lie. And that's basically maybe the, the you know, the good things that my parents. Uh, well, your middle me. name is Abraham after all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A man of kindness mm -hmm. and Nimrod was bravery if you study like the tree of life and mm -hmm. then Isaac also um, so with that being said um, I want my daughters I want the future generation and myself to live in a place okay um, dude being a geologist doesn't make you um smart it doesn't so sorry um you know it just means that you have knowledge of of rocks um uh uh yeah i mean i'll i'll, I'll debate like don't don't start a debate with me here um I, as i said like go 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 my email address i put in there um like if you want to debate me just just contact my my email address that's uh, that's that's all i ask um so I, I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's a father. He has daughters. I think that um, maybe a lot of it is coming from a place that he was very scared during the um, during the the um, pandemic, and he kind of you know he wanted to 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 bring people together. So he said there was divisiveness, sort of thing. And I get that. I get that. But at a certain point, when something is is backed by science and all the evidence for it like um you know inoculating yourself against a disease and the other side isn't and just is misinformation and 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 people um uh, you know putting this up as oh it's gonna it's gonna you know there's people who still think that everybody that took the vaccine is going to drop dead Right, they still think that it's just a delayed reaction from when they said, "Oh, you take it, you're you're gonna keel over," kind of thing. Like they still think that years and years later, and they will still think it ten years from now. It's so ridiculous, like so ridiculous. Um, similar channels to mine. Um, look, I, I should have a um a sort of a, a, a linked channels in in my uh, um in my web page kind of thing the, the 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 landing page for my my channel should have like others like this kind of thing or or, or the the ones that i like i guess i'm not sure what it is hold on let me find it um there's a lot of channels around i think maya's in chat as well she's really good um she's she's fantastic uh let's see 
where's my channel? Do I have a channel? Whose channel is this? I, I don't know. Uh, amazing channels. Yes, there is a list of amazing channels um, that Myers isn't actually on. Oh, that's an oversight. Hey, do I have a, a, a limit on this or something? I don't know. Look, I'm getting sidetracked. Tangents in the chat. Um, yeah, yeah, there's there's sort of amazing channels in, in the thing, what's it? So if you ever want, want to see similar channels, usually the creators will put an amazing channels um, thing and, and sort of um, put it on there. But, yeah, I think this guy was scared and, and he didn't like people, especially so if you're religious and you see people fighting, he might have gone, well, I want to repair this. I, I just want to point out this is not the way to do it, right? This is not the way to do it. Basically saying, hey, well, I'm going to get all people of all faith to gang up on the scientists is not the way to repair those rifts. Where we join hands based on shared connections and shared values. Of course. And as a parent, the only way for me to educate my kids is being the person I want them to be. Mm -hmm. Set an example. And, you know, preaching and, and, and teaching and yelling never helps. Mm -hmm. be the man you want your kids to be or be the woman you want your kids to be um well I, I kind of if i had kids i'd want them to be critical thinkers like to be able to think about things critically in a, in a very neutral way and decide what's the best course upon the evidence i don't see um sort of spirituality and stuff that's just me i don't see it as the best way to arrive at truth None of the decisions that I make in my life are really based upon any kind of sort of spiritual faith at all. I, I would I, I usually like to evaluate all of the evidence that I have before making a decision because that seems to get me to the best decisions. Um, you know, and, and it's weird, and I, I was mentioning this the other day, it's weird how every single decision made in your life is made with gathering it. Like when you cross the road, you look for evidence of cars coming. You don't just take it on faith that you'll make it. Um, every important decision, we try to get as much information as we can and then make the decision. Um, depending on the size of the decision, I, I, I don't know how faith is going to help you in that, that, that sort of thing. So following values such as, you know, integrity and truth. Mm -hmm and being kind and having compassion not not coming on always from an egoic standpoint but seeing the other because we're a collective and 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 applying even unconditional love sometimes i always found myself i played with the world and i'll, I'll, I'll give you small examples and saying that you know we can win with unconditional love needs to be proved and and where do i prove it to myself even in the small um you know things that we do in life we we drive on the street and somebody cuts us my immediate reaction is oh i'm gonna take my baseball band blah, 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 blah. Just cut me. really I, i'd understand some frustration but taking your baseball bat and, and whacking someone is a little extreme but just being cut off uh, that's a little extreme. I get that, that there are people that road rage yet, get you. Um, and you may have a thought like that. That's the thing. Like thoughts, the thoughts that we have on, on our emotional reactions, they're kind of just a little bit random. Like, you know, you might have a thought of, oh, man, I wish I could. And it's like, why did I have that thought? Like it doesn't seem to come from any place that is, you know, rational or reasonable. It's These thoughts can crop up. You know, they, they really can. It's just, it's almost like, you know, we're, we're sort of getting them from a subconscious place, but they don't mean anything. We don't have to act on them. And there are people who, who might even get offended. And some, some guy went out of a car. And you know what I did? I said, love, 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 love. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really sorry, Golf Easy. Um, I, I, uh, I, I do... I sort of hang out with a couple of geologists, including someone with a doctorate in geology, and I, I severely doubt that that you're actually a geologist. I I, I have I have my doubts. Uh, I'm really sorry, because um, geology is a, a sort of one of the oldest sciences. It, it's you know modern sciences, I guess, um, and it, it's it's fairly well confirmed. Um, I, I kind of. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry, mate, but 
I, I don't know um, if, if, you know, yeah, it, it, it would be very weird. I've met very few geologists who would say, hey, the dating methods are all over the place, considering the, the methodologies that we use them, especially um, sort of, yeah. And I pulled my hands like this. Give me a hug. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. This is where magic happens. This is a moment where you basically know that you have like the blue pill and the red pill. Mm -hmm. And by using the, the red and representing love is, is, is basically how you create magic on this planet. Now, this registers very well in also with understanding that matter is formed by energy. So once you understand that, you know, our foundation is energetic. Well, it, it is kind of just energy. Um, like, I, I get what he's saying. It, it's just, yeah. <laughs> where, but where is Beamsy when you need him? Kuba PD, Robin. Kuba PD. Beamsy's in Kuba PD. So he's doing excavations down there um, and, and geology down in Kuba PD. So uh, he he won't be available. Um, he, he kind of pops on, but I think you know, sort of this time he's gonna be actually out in the field. So um, yeah. Oh, golf easy. Oh, golf easy. Oh dear. So you're not a geologist. You're not. You're not. Do you know how carbon dating works? You, you don't date rocks with carbon dating. You don't date rocks with carbon dating. You, you, you date organic things. Yeah, I, I, I don't... I, I don't yeah, I, I don't know why you're sort of coming in here and saying you're a geologist. Maybe you're just having a joke, you know, like I'm a geologist and, you know, I don't know anything about carbon dating, but we, 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 you need carbon and carbon comes from organic creatures. No, nobody dates rocks with, with carbon dating, mate. I hate to break it to you. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I, I, I'm really sorry, mate. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, if, if, you're a geologist. I, 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 I'm the king of England. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, may, maybe you are having a prank and I'm just, you know, on the spectrum and not getting it. But sure, sure. No worries. No worries at all. No worries at all. But yeah, I, wow. Um, that's, uh, if, if that's, you know, good one. I, I, that, that's hilarious. If, it, yeah. <laughs> You need uh, to yeah. look at the world from, I would say, two main perspectives that are reflected uh, with us. One is the frequencies and the other one is the vibration. Vibration is our emotional flux. So every time I open this. Vibration is our emotional flux. Uh, okay, Deepak. Okay, Deepak Chopra. Tell me about our emotional flux through vibration. Um. Our emotions are complex, incredibly complex. They're, they're sort of feedback systems um, with positive and negative reinforcements. Um, you know, there's, there's it, it mostly is chemicals and chemical reactions and things like that stimulating, and that's where you get the feedback systems. Um, they're so complex. Like just saying they're vibrations, though, I, I don't even know what what that means, quite frankly. The TV now? and I see war, and I see climate crisis, and I see um, viruses attacking me. I, I get my fight or flight mm -hmm. activated. I'm, I'm, this is a very low frequency and a very dense vibration. I'm yeah, so so he's brought up a good few points. I, I do like what he's brought up here. You know, we've got climate crisis. We've got diseases attacking us. I have this in my opening. Like, I understand that that causes the fight or flight. Um, I understand that we're all concerned about these things. And, and all of these things are a problem. I get that. But you can't attack science at that point. 
that's the only thing that has helped us through these kind of things. I, I mean, you know, in any kind of practical way, you could argue that religions helped emotionally or spiritually, whatever spiritually means, sure, yes. But the only thing that's practically helped is the implementation of science. Oh, I hate you so much, Titan. I, I hate you so much. I, I, I hate you so much. I really do. I really do. I'm, I'm now in tension. And I might develop anger. These are very low and dense vibrations and low frequencies. No, they're not low and dense vibrations. I, wow, okay. No, they're just they're just emotions. And look, and 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 fear and stuff. It, it's 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 a it's a understandable emotion to feel when confronted with all these problems. No one's expecting you to solve the world's problems. You know, no one's expecting you personally to go out and 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 solve all this stuff. I get that you're afraid, but sort of just reacting by sort of um, vilifying science in, in your first episode is not the way to do it. That's not a good reaction. And realizing it, that, you know, every thought that we bring in uh, is being released to this field, the quantum field, you know, a thought is an energy. And my speech is vibration. And when I do, I create a construct. I said to myself, how can I take these amazing things that I learned about life and how can I encapsulate them in, in? Well, he's got one thing right. Sound is vibration. I, I get that. You know, I understand that. Okay. So when you're speaking, your, your vocal cords are vibrating, producing vibrations in the air that's, you know, sort of, you know, projected out in, you know, vibrations in the air. I, I get that. Like, that's okay. But that doesn't mean your emotions are vibrations. I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't even know. Uh, sorry, just one sec. Okay, I had a vibration to sneeze, and then the vibration went away. So I, it hate, I, I hate, I hate it when when I have a premature vibration, and that vibration just ceases. It it drives me crazy. Um, why can't my vibration vibrate? I I don't. This is so weird. I I in a kids show, in a teens show, taking all the. This is not a teens show. Are you thinking teenagers are watching this? Like. <laughs> It, what earliest is 13 i still this is a I, i'm not sure this is like a 13 year old show i i think it's more about you know 10 8 to 10 maybe I, maybe i'm wrong 13 i don't know about that one champ i, I don't know about that one it's, you know actually you know scratch that i think i think you should have to be 95 to watch this show like you really have to have lost your senses altogether Oh, a beautiful toolkit that I managed to build to myself that basically helped me enjoy life. Okay. And not suffer. Well, it's weird because you're saying you're enjoying life, but you're also talking about how panicked you are about just random stuff like diseases and climate change and things like that. Yeah, I, I you know, they're not mutually exclusive, I guess. It's just, it's kind of weird that you talk about this and then, you know, you seem to be resentful that, that, the, the the pandemic kind of took away your your freedom to just do whatever you want and yeah it sucks but it's better than the alternative which is like you know incredible amounts of people um dying all the time that's not cool that's not cool an incredible amount of people died could you imagine what it been like if if we did nothing and and presumably maybe he's in a place that had you know more serious lockdowns than than America I don't know. And teach it through a kid's show. And I'm a marketeer. And I think this project has some kind of divine intervention. Otherwise, I cannot explain why my head writer is a five Emmy Award winner. And I oh, yeah, that's divine intervention. Look, there's nothing about divine intervention in this. You have people who also believe in the same thing. Like these, these writers and stuff, they're probably theists. They're probably theists, right? 
Are they believers? Can we get some information on them? Are they believers as well? If they are, then it's not divine intervention. It's simply a sharing of faith. And that's that's all. Um, it, it, it's really, really bad when people sort of say, hey, it's divine intervention because these very ordinary things have, have come together in some synchronous kind of way. It's not divine intervention. It's not. It's just you happen to be religious. They happen to be religious. They believed in your vision. Then it got made. What part of that needed a God? I don't understand. I really don't understand. Like if if I, an atheist, met a Emmy, you know, I worked in that industry and I met another atheist and made a, a, a cartoon about how bad religion was, was that divine intervention? No, at that point, you'd say, no, that isn't divine intervention. That's just you met someone with the same beliefs and made a cartoon about your beliefs. Why isn't it? Why is it divine intervention one way, but has nothing to do with anything the other way? Why? It's because you choose to see it like that. Rami? No, Aunt Jer, it was called Leadove Awards. Leadove Awards. It's Leadove. Get it right. I will not have you misrepresenting Le Dove on this show, even though in French it would be Le Pigeon. Who did the Oscars and, and John Stewart and Conan O'Brien and Benton and Angry Birds. And my director is a two-time Emmy nominee for um, Transformers Cyberverse. And he feels the need to justify his, his like, sort of vision a lot with, with these people kind of thing. All these, these really big people. Vampirina and the Oddbots. Good best, mate. And we were, and, and we were just joined by the ex-VP animation of Netflix who did our thing, Ghost Stage. So I'm telling to myself, they all get it. They all get what is the what we want to commission out to the world in terms of values. We all know <laughs> uh, how important. I mean, first of all, we're an entertainment company. Mm -hmm. okay? And we want to entertain. We, we want to appeal to a, a broader audience as possible, even though it burns some people pupils when they see Okay, The Dam Busters is a really cool story, Libelle. The Dam Busters is awesome. So The Dam Busters was that they came up, this, this one guy came up with a idea for a bouncing bomb. Now, what it was, they'd basically get a, a, a drum-shaped bomb and they would spin it backwards, right? Like they'd put rotational force on it. And when it was let go, it would hit the water and it would skip. Now, what he figured out is that by um, a certain like applying a scientific formula to um, Barnes Wallace? Thank you, Isani. Um, by uh, by applying a formula, it would bounce. A, if you let that go from a certain height at a certain velocity, it would bounce a set number of times and then hit exactly at the waterline on the dam. Now it had been found out that the waterline, it creates the most explosive force you possibly can. Like things under the water don't, don't make that much explosive force. I mean, don't get me wrong, they do explode, but the water absorbs a lot of the shock. Um, at at the, the, the waterline, all of that energy is pushed into the dam. Like it just hits the dam incredibly hard because it's at the waterline. So what this guy did is he worked out what speed and, and altitude, or what velocity, rather, I should say, and altitude they had to release the bomb to do a certain amount of skips and hit exactly at the waterline, thus just blowing the dam apart. And it was incredibly destructive and could destroy a dam with one bomb. And all of that was worked out by basically one scientist, one guy. Um, I don't think that's true. The kinetic energy of the spin doesn't amplify the blast. It's the the being at the waterline where um, the the um, water absorbs most of the force, but unlike if like like it actually is forced all into the dam by by it sort of being pushed up. Um, it, it it the 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 spin was to make it bounce, like to to make it skip basically instead of just hitting and stopping. Um, so, um, yeah, it's a really cool film. There's an old film called The Dam Busters, like black and white film, really cool, you know, um, just, just sort of goes into how they, they designed this thing. 
and it had a lot of pushback, but the guy was an amazing scientist. But I guess what I'm saying is they're kind of appropriating science to sort of say, hey, this is our thing. Stop it. Stop it. The, 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 the interfaith group. Um, so with that being said, um, <clears throat> we're coming with these stories that are action based and adventure and fellowship, you know, joining unity, but sometimes you need to kick butt for God's sake. It's not a show about religion. We're not preaching towards any kind of faith. We're favoring everyone as long as they hold the right. Oh, I I, I forgot about the poll. Am I gonna I'm, am I gonna be sad? Am I gonna be sad? Thank you so much, Yahooligan, for two two uh, uh, Californian dollars. Uh, thank you so much. Um, look, I'm just trying to troll Yahoo again at this point. Just, just I, I know it's Canadian. Just, just oh, oh dear, oh no, oh Darwin's beard. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it looks like I'm doing Bible Man. I, I have to follow the poll. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, so I'll probably do that. I may have something for next week, but I'll I'll do it the week after if I don't. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, we all know Canada is a myth. Yeah, I say the same thing about my country. That's all right, Max. That's all right, buddy. Nobody said no. Yeah, you're right, Lee Bell. Uh, no, nobody said no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, chat. Ah, uh, chat. I, I've, I've never seen, I've seen like pictures of it, but I've never actually watched it. So um, it, it, it looks bad. And I figure from the poll, it's going to be worse. Ah. Uh, Crap. Right. Well, you know, you got me. You got me, chat. You got me. Values. If I may ask a question. Yes. So um, I feel like uh, do the nature of the show uh, and then you telling me about your your journey. Uh, do you find yourself more at a spiritual place versus I would say subscribing to a particular religion? Um, I'm, I'm so no, I, I'm only joking, Lavelle. I, I I love everybody in chat, like really. It's it's more just you know, um, I, I don't know. I find it I find it hilarious. You know, you guys are just just amazing. I, I I'm I'm just being very very uh, uh, facetious. Really, is is the correct word for it? Like so so um um sort of jokingly um outraged. It, it's just a you know. It's just I, I I hope everybody knows that I don't I don't actually hate chat so um, no no I I just love chat chat's chat's amazing I I wouldn't wouldn't have a thing without chat really don't ask him how they keep warm I, I'm I'm, exper I'm I'm seeing some kind of you know taunt on Star Wars taunt on situation here um, yeah I don't think we really need to know about all of his spirituality I think gave enough look so this guy what what's my thoughts on this I I, I think I'm gonna sort of wrap it up because this goes on for another hour and, and i don't think i can sit through this guy talking about his intentions for another hour um so how do i feel about this show it it, it is horrible it, it it i think it is reductive and that's that's the word that i'll come back to the most reductive um how do i feel about the creator i don't know i have mixed feelings about the creator i think his his resentment towards science is misplaced and, and sort of what we're doing as far as um um, trying to overcome disease and stuff, you know, in in, in the pandemic. I, I think it's really misplaced. I, I think that um, science isn't being sort of very, oh, well, let's, let's all lock them up for no, you know, there's a good reason we're doing this. I think that that he's really, his, his anger at, at that kind of stuff's misplaced. I think that he... I think he's got good intentions as far as religion is concerned. I think he wants to end the strife between religions by sort of doing this, but he's gone about it in the one of the worst ways possible. He's sort of um, he's sort of made it so all of these religions are just one religion, ignoring all of the differences between them. So that's not going to work for a lot of religious people. It's just it's just not. Um, a lot of religious people will sort of say, hey, I, I don't like that you're equating my religion with this religion. So as far as, look, I, I can support trying to end the wars and, and sort of he's talking about love and peace between religions. I'm all for it. I really am. I think that that 
that sentiment is a noble sentiment. But bringing this, this out, it's going to make it worse because not only are you ignoring the differences between the religions, you don't seem to be respecting the people in those religions a lot. Like the Jewish guys are stereotyped, the Christian guys are stereotyped, that everybody's a stereotype. And you're also putting it under the banner of Christianity. Like that Christian iconography, it, it says something, even if you don't mean to say it, it says something to those other religions that, yes, they have their religion, but really everything is under the angels and the halos and the, the Christian iconography. That's a problem. That will be a problem for them. So it it will not do what you're attempting to do. As much as I, I, I get that he's trying to, um, I, he's get, I get that he's trying to um, he's trying to so mend religion and using science as a scapegoat for it is is very terrible as well. So I mean I don't I don't hate the guy. I don't I don't I don't dislike sort of what his intentions are. I think that the world could use a bit of mending between religions, you know, especially sort of Christianity and um, Islam and, and um, Judaism and Islam definitely could use some mending. Um, but I, I don't like sort of doing a children's cartoon to sort of make these religions into two-dimensional characters is not the way to do it. This is horrible, absolutely horrible. And um, you're, 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 you're sort of making science the bad guy in all of this. It's awful. It's horrible. Um, we, we could also do like a a um, interfaith religion where um, you know they, they have an atheist, they have a have a Zoroastrian. Maybe they didn't have the budget to include all religions, but then why do it? You you could have them um, being controlled instead of by the Christian iconography by somebody who's just faceless and nameless and doesn't you know, could be anybody, or by a government. Why not just have them under the government? Because he doesn't want religion under the government. And I get that, but you're going to run into problems, big problems, because one of these religions has got to be on top. And, and sort of the more fundamentalist people will go, no, they are not the equal of me, and I'm going to prove it. So... Uh, I don't hate the guy. I don't hate what he's trying to do. I just think he did it in a really bad way. And I think that it veers towards Christianity as being the, the one on top. You're right. You're right, Reid. I'm just describing the X-Men. Yeah, no, you're absolutely correct. You're 100% correct. But, um, you know, and it's interesting. And look, let's look at X-Men, right? Let No, seriously, let's look at X-Men. Does anyone remember Nightcrawler from the X-Men, right? He was one of my favourite, one of my favourite characters, definitely. Nightcrawler was highly religious. He was Catholic and he looked like a devil kind of thing. He's, he, he had horns and he had a tail, like a devil tail. He could teleport and, and, and every time he teleported, it smelt of, of, of brimstone, right? And he was deeply, and it investigated the whole thing of someone being um, looking like that and being religious at the same time, kind of thing. So um, I think that was good. I think that that's that's sort of the way to do it. But he wasn't a one-dimensional character. They're, they're nuanced. His name, his his code name was Nightcrawler. His real name was um, Kurt Kurt Wagner. Um, but but. There was more to him than just um, demon teleport, and that's his name. You know, you, you can't just no. What would it be? It would be Catholic teleport, like or, or Chris crisscross. You know, come on now. It it. I don't know. I don't know. It just it just seems very very, um, very very basic uh, sort of. Um, depictions of, of these very very rich cultures, and and to sort of um, have the the American voiceover for one character 
or the the white American voiceover for one character, and none of the others. Others have ex exaggerated. I mean, it's just it's just sort of minimizing that person. Um, but you know, I could imagine that maybe no no Hindu wanted to be involved with this project because um, Hindus believe in multiple that they have like a, a polytheistic thing. So when you start saying Oh well, the one above that's just one singular. The Hindu is going to go. Wait, that's not what I believe. I don't believe that. So yeah, I, I think I think this is a terrible cartoon on a number of levels. Not just insulting to to certain um, cultures, but also to to science in general. I mean, yeah, and it sort of shows with the way that he talks about you know his fears on on the decisiveness. Well. It isn't the fault of the people who are paying attention to science that people want to challenge it with no evidence whatsoever. And, like, I get that you want to challenge it with no evidence whatsoever, but why should I pay any attention to you if you've got no evidence whatsoever? And these negative outcomes come from that. You know, you see people who won't get medical treatment because of their religion. Like, why should I believe them and do that, that myself? No, no, absolutely not. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you could be right, Ray. I, I'm not that familiar with Hinduism, I must admit, but I think I'm probably more familiar than, than this guy because um, at least I know that a part of Hinduism isn't Taekwondo. Um, yeah. Well, um, yeah, so uh, th this was awful. I, 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 I disliked the cartoon immensely. I realise it wasn't for my age category. Um, what do I have coming up? I should be doing a debate review with Ember um, on my Sunday, Saturday night, Eastern time. Um, I, I will try to get out some more room rumbles. I've got a couple lined up. Um, one particularly spicy one with, with Austin Witsit, which was, um, yeah, I mean, I've got to record an intro for it and explain what's going on, but that that should be up within um, not, not too long. Um, so I'll probably do that uh, this afternoon. But I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, if you do have any video suggestions or anything for fundamentalist fails, please do, do send them through. I'm more than happy. That, that email address is for anybody and everybody. If you want to challenge me to a debate, use it too. I'm not going to debate while I'm doing a stream, but I'm more than happy to uh, debate when, um, you know, when, when, when I'm going on different channels and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, if, 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 the, if the forum is set up for it. So I want to thank you all so much. I'm going to get my banner out. And I'm also going to find somewhere to guide you. So, um, yeah, I'll just I'll just run that. And I'll see if anybody else is currently online and, and doing the streamy streamy. Um, oh, Doc Dino. Hello, Saw. I'll send you over to Doc because I, I really like Doc Dino. So I, I'm more than happy to, to send you over there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this with me. I don't know. I mean, it was terrible. The thing was terrible, but I have enjoyed um, watching it with you because um, there's some um, movies, like, you know the movie like The Room where it's just, it's such a bad movie, it's actually fun to watch? I, I kind of feel like that. I, I really kind of feel like that. Um, let me find Doc Dino's channel. Uh, I'll just save that. Oh, no, I meant to pop a wall. Um, where's Doc? Doc. Yes, Doc. And I'll save. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And thank you to everybody that, that sent in super chats and sent in stuff. Amazing. Really appreciate it. Um, uh, really appreciate it, Eric Wanda, Yahooligan, Pinworm, and Robin. Thank you so much. And I'll join you in the next one. I'm not sure what I'll be doing, but I've got a funny feeling it might just be Bible Man. I've got a funny feeling it might just be Bible Man. And don't forget, do be kind to yourself. Do be kind to each other. And I agree with the creator of this segment. We should be kind to each other. But there's no reason to pick on one segment like um, Satanists or... or, or um, um scientists right why couldn't the villain just be criminals I, I don't know it's very very strange so um yeah but i, I want to thank you all um so much for for joining me
um, and and do have a amazing day or week or weekend. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>